matches the world of court system. As a student in his 20s, Corey Shaler started to embrace his love for travel and adventure. During his final year in college, he went to the US on a J1, but one morning on the way to work, he was knocked off his bike and suffered a severe acquired brain injury. Now in his 30s, he's been cared for at home by his family, and while he can't verbalize his wishes, he can communicate them in other ways. The introduction of a decision support service is hugely beneficial to Porik. If anything bad were to happen to Porik, that the decision would, would remain with him and with the family as to what would happen, that the power wouldn't be taken out of, out of your hands. Porik couldn't just be placed into a nursing home overnight or anything, that he could, he could have the power to make that decision himself with our support. Diagnosed with Alzheimer's over 10 years ago, Helen Rochford Brennan believes that while it's overdue, the decision support service is a monumental change for Irish society. I think it's important as an older person, apart from my Alzheimer's, that those decisions are in place. We deserve a quality of life. We deserve all the supports that we need. But it is going to be something that is going to be a major change in this country, but it's a change for the better. We all want to be at the heart of the decisions that matter to us. There's a lot to explain and I think it will be an ongoing objective of ours to ensure that there is a good level of understanding out there and that people know they can come to the Decision Support Service for good information. This service that Helen, Porik and thousands more will benefit from is long awaited and one in which everyone has the presumption of capacity. As a Keneally, RTE News. An inquest in Limerick has heard of 